Yeah, Pro Grace Taylor coming up. Uh, they're going to fight in London, World Boxing Super Series. And um, like I said, my my thoughts on that is that Pro Grace wins this going away. You have any thoughts? Yeah, a little bit. Um, I think Pro Grace is maybe the more dynamic athlete uh, toward your point or at least your thinking of the result that you're thinking of, that Pro Grace might be the more athletic guy. Um, more dynamic talent in, to a certain degree. Yeah, I, I think that's possible and maybe likely. Uh, he might have the pressure. He shouldn't have it, but, you know, life's not always fair. Uh, it might have the pressure of having to be more dynamic uh, and having to score a knockout to win his fight over in London with Taylor. Mm. But two southpaws fighting each other, both undefeated, and again, the geography is going to be important in the ring and outside the ring because if I be in London, it's going to be something to overcome as far as if it goes to the scorecards. I could see Progres being pushing or trying to push the fight a little bit at some point coming forward, and his style is to move his head, a lot of head movement, but unprotected head movement. What do I mean by that? His hands are on up. Mm -hmm. He does it with his hands low. And Taylor, I can see Taylor taller, longer, on the outside looking to be a sniper, looking to pot shot him, looking to, if I was the trainer, I think that might be the program I'd be setting up or the, the fight plan strategy I'd be setting up to take what he gives us and force him to come forward uh, being that we have some physical assets, uh, maybe advantages if we use them in the right way, where we're a little taller, a little longer, where we can force them to come to us and look to time them, look to time that head movement, that naked head movement. I say it again, not just head movement, naked head movement, where if he doesn't make you miss, you catch him clean, where he has to be perfect. It's hard to be perfect all the time. And... I could see Josh Taylor having that kind of fight plan with his trainer, Barry McGuigan's son, who's doing a good job yeah. over there. He's developing a good stable of, of fighters. He's developing a good reputation. He's doing a good job as a mm -hmm. trainer. Uh, you know, the the son of the former featherweight champ of the world, Barry McGuigan. Um, so I could see Josh Taylor against two southpaws looking to pot shot him, uh, Catch Pro Grace coming in with a little recklessness with those hands low. Judge Taylor is a guy who's maybe not as dynamic as far as pure ability, but he's got ability, and he's technically pretty well-rounded, pretty solid technically, where he knows how to box on the outside, and he can go inside in the trenches too and work the body, I've seen it, uh, and be comfortable doing that. So it should be an interesting fight. It should be a good fight. Uh, an interesting fight. Um, again, I hate to say it, but I know the realities of the sport, and that's why people, I hope, listen to us because we talk about the realities, not just about what's easy and convenient and avoid things that aren't convenient and easy or worry about what somebody might say that we're saying something. We say what we believe. And hopefully with the judgment that, that should be attached to those beliefs. If he doesn't hurt Taylor, it's, <laughs> he's going to, unless it's the kind of fight we don't expect, where it's completely dominant, which you expect, uh, but I don't expect, um, it's going to be hard for him to get out of there, you know, with with a decision. But having said that, put that aside, just the things that we, we can't control that, the things that we can talk about that are more control about, controllable, the talent, the styles, uh, the you know the technique, uh, the mistakes that both guys can make. I I can see Taylor again boxing on the outside when he has to get in close, being able to tuck up and do that too. He's technically pretty solid. Uh, at the end of the day, I see Taylor winning a decision. Um, yeah, I I wow. see the opposite of you. I again, Pro Grace, I see what you see, but I also see what I see. 
you know, I see the mistakes. I see, I see the whole picture of the atmosphere and what's going to be going on. And listen, the crowd can work the other way too. The crowd could work to entice Taylor to fight in the wrong geography. Mm. It can do that a lot. That should be said. It could also it could lift you, but it could also lift you to where you shouldn't be to to fight the kind of fight, uh, overly aggressive fight, if you will, whatever. But in the wrong places, the wrong quarters, uh, that because you're fulfilling what you think the crowd wants you to fulfill. Yeah. 